Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Just Mercy, uh, about a civil rights lawyer who uh, attempts to get um, a, a person who is wrongly convicted off of death row, I believe. Um, Brie Larson, Michael B. Jordan from Friday Night Lights, um, Jamie Foxx, O'Shea Jackson Jr., pretty good cast right there. Um, and IMDb has it as 7.4. So pretty high rating there. Two hours and 17 minutes long. So let me get into it a little bit, find out what it's about. Um, and then once I know that, I'll let you know. And then ultimately, I'll tell you what I think. So stick around. I think it's supposed to be pretty good. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of uh, Just Mercy. No check-ins tonight because I didn't think it was needed. It's your standard um, movie about wrongly accused um, people and, uh, you know, the lawyers that go after and try and get them off the wrongly accused. Uh, conviction is a, a good one. Um, what else is there? The, I had a bunch of them. Conviction is a good one. The Hurricane. Uh, the, the Life of David Gale. Those types of films. This is basically what it's about. So Michael B. Jordan. Um, plays a young uh, civil lawyer, as I mentioned, and out of Harvard, and he's looking to do good in the world, and, and this is based on a true story. Brian Stevenson, I think, is a real lawyer's name, um, who, you know, wanted to help these people who were potentially wrongly convicted, so he starts and he finds uh, Jamie Foxx's character, and, um, you know, looks into the case and realizes, okay, you know, he was accused of murder, and now he's going to work to try and get him to see to prove his innocence is what he's ultimately going to do. So you, you imagine in all these movies like how that goes. So they find something and then you know and there's corruption and it goes back and forth. That's really what the whole plot is about. Um, so you've seen movies like these and uh, you get it and they're great movies. I, I like them. I love them. But you get it and this one's based on a true story, um, which is even better. So. But I think the main thing about this, what's, what's going to separate it from any of these other types of movies, um, is the acting. And I think we all know Jamie Foxx is fantastic. Um, and he is in this one. Um, there's a scene when he's in the courtroom towards the end where they're you know, announcing um, the decision. Just check out that scene and, and how he, his facial reactions. It, uh, I just noticed that. So when you, if you do watch this film, watch for that part, and you'll see what a phenomenal actor he is. And then Michael B. Jordan. So Michael B. Jordan's a younger actor. Um, you know, and, and it struck me when I started to watch this and how young he looked. And I was like, man, he looks like a, a kid. I remember him from the TV show Friday Night Lights. That's when I first first met him. Um, when, I first when I discovered him. Whatever. You know what I mean? That's the first time I've seen him. He looks the same as he did then when I was watching that show. It's just a... Uh, you know, a little buffer, but young guy. But, you know what I mean? So that's like, ah, is this young kid fresh out of Harvard going to be able to do all this stuff? Well, he does a, a great job. They give him a lot of, uh, you know, you know, like in a trial, they have a lot of, I don't want to say, opening statements, closing statements, you know, speeches, right? And and he does a great job delivering all of those. Um, so, you know, and, you know, not the to sell him short. He's been in a lot of other things since Friday Night Lights and has done a really good job. Black Panther, you know. And, but um, I think this one's a little bit different than what I've seen him in before. I mean, he's playing a civil lawyer. So um, I really thought he did a, a really good job. So the two of them there. And then Brie Larson, I thought she was good. Um, I think the other two were a little bit better. Not that she did a bad job of acting, but I just didn't, you know, I think she had an easier time with her character. Um, than the other two, I would say, but uh, the look-alike, they, and that's one of the things I love about these, when they show the pictures at the end of the, the real people versus the actors, well, they did a great job with Brie Larson making her look like her character in this, and she was basically, she wasn't an attorney, but she assisted Michael B. Jordan's character um, with all of this, so she was the first one to join his firm, in a sense, and, and help him through all of this, so she has a pretty major role um, but they show the picture of the Eva, I think her name is, or Eva, um, and they show that the, they don't show the two of them, but it's like pretty close. So that was neat, um, and it and it's very interesting. Two hours and seventeen minutes long, so a little bit longer film, 
but it holds your interest the whole time. Um, um, what else to mention? I don't know. I thought it was really good. Like I said, they show the pictures at the end. They show the words. They let you know what happened. It has all the pieces that I need for a real-life story. Now, yeah, not that it's a bad thing, but this kind of thing has been um, shown a lot, this plot line, you know, where they try and get people off for that type of thing. So it's really all about the acting um, and all that stuff, which is still really good and worth watching. So, um, When They See Us. If you haven't seen that, that's on Netflix. Um, that's a really good one. I like that a lot. That kind of this kind of reminds me of that in a sense. Um, and um, a time to kill. So now I know a time to kill wasn't really getting an innocent man off if you've seen that one, but still got the same kind of feel because as uh, you know, this takes place in Alabama. As you're trying to overturn a conviction that happened in Alabama for a black man um, that murdered a, a, is accused of murdering a white woman. Um, you know, they start getting into a little, not in a little bit of trouble, but threats, as you can imagine, just like in um, uh, A Time to Kill. So, all right, there you go. That's what I got. Got all those movies. Combine them together, you got this one. Um, but really good one. Got to watch it. Got to check it out. It's just for the acting skills. If you like those two guys, worth watching. And, and if you like the movies, I'd watch it anyway. Even though it's an overdone plot, it's still worth watching. So... All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Check it out. If you do, drop me a line. Let me know what you think. Is there anything I missed? What did you like about it? Um, you know, make sure you like my channel. Subscribe to it if you haven't already. And, of course, tell your friends. And continue to tune in to Kimmel's Irish Pub. See ya. <laughs>